Good morning, gardening friends. It's Travis from Louisville, Kentucky, zone 6B slash 7. This is this week's garden tour. Here we have um, Coryopsis. New bloom this week. Also blooming this week is the Russian Sage. Also in here we have the Blanket Flower. I apologize ahead of time for all the background noise. Got a lot of dogs around here that like to bark. Blooming now is this, uh, I forget the variety of this one. I think it's fire and ice, but this is a hydrangea. St. Valentine, Daylily. I have yet to lay fresh mulch in this garden bed. It needs it really bad. Uh, Blue Victoria Salvia. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. Blue Victoria Salvia. And I have that in the front border. as well as the marigolds. This blue Victoria Salvia is just now starting to bloom. Whoa, very blurry. So we've been very, very dry here, very hot in the 90s lately. It's probably been probably more than 10 days since, since we had a decent rain. So I've been having to water daily. lamb's ear I need to cut the blooms off and clean them up a little bit autumn joy sedum won't be long until the limelight hydrangeas start blooming boy have they gotten tall I don't like them that tall but I'm afraid if I cut them now then they won't bloom I'll cut all the blooms off I'm gonna try not to talk as much because I know I repeat everything, every video.
These roses are looking a little rough. I don't know if it's just because it's so dry or... And it's been sunny every day too. I'm not complaining, but we need a little bit of rain. I actually like cloudy days. This one's called Bobo, a hydrangea. It's just starting to bloom. We got uh, rose moss in the planter. Some burgundy sunflowers that I'm excited to see bloom. And this is just gorgeous. Again, I forget the variety, but it is a hydrangea. But look how big. And it's leaning over because it's so heavy. Very pretty. This is the only container I've really done anything with. In the center is Victoria Blue Salvia, and a red Dianthus, and uh, uh, Snow in the Summer, Alyssum. Pottager Gardens looking good. Here is the dill. I think it might be flowering soon. Cilantro in bloom. Here is that lacy facilia. Green bean is blooming. These are the pole variety, obviously. Looking pretty good. I need to get in here and pick some cucumbers. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Squash. I hope this is coming out good. The sun's very bright. So we've got squash in here. I've got pumpkins in here. Tomatoes. These are the bush variety. Green beans. Looking pretty good. Oh. Also have a little watermelon in here. Not sure how it's gonna do, but we'll see. Hollyhock has gotten so tall. About nine feet. I think I'm going to take this guy out of here so the phlox has a little more room.
I wish I would have planted these further back. I got confused and thought these were the ones that were shorter. These are the Nigra variety. Dark purple. going to be another warm one today. Black Eyed Susan's getting ready to pop. Big yellow lilies. This is the Gooseneck Loose Drive. Snow in the summer. Alyssum. As you can see, I got a old milk bucket or whatever milk can, and soon this will all be white. So it'll be like the milk is spilling out. I'm sure y'all seen that before. Spiderwort blue. New lily blooming. Forget the variety, but this is like a red, orange, tall. I really like it for the color and the tallness. I think after the summer, I'm going to move it back a little bit because it's so tall. Tiger lilies back there. I think they're called tiger lilies. If they're not, y'all let me know in the comments. Miss Campus grass. See, how do I get back out of here? Some uh, pink phlox here is about to bloom. Also, my neighbor across the street gave me some red bee balm that I've been looking everywhere for. Can never find. I can always find the pink or the purple, but never the red. So, 
There's a little clump right there. Here's some of those wildflowers that I just threw in here. <laughs> 